Today, we will dive into the action crime movie Tittle Machete and Machete Kills. The movie starts with two federal agents in a car somewhere in Mexico. A guy asked his friend why they had to save a girl since she was just another victim that was kidnapped by Torres. But his friend said because if not them who would save the girl, then who else? Not so long after that, the guy was called by another guy. The guy on the phone said to obey his request to not get the girl and ruin Torres. Since if they didn't obey, all of them would be killed. But his friend who was driving earlier, whose name is Mashit, destroyed his phone quickly. Then they arrived at the residence. There were some men who were holding their guns. Then Machit drove backwards. After that Machit and the guy prepared their weapons and attacked them while Machit was driving the car normally again. Even Machit managed to hit them and got into the residence. But unfortunately, the guy was shot and died. After that Machit killed one by one the men there and she saved the girl. When they wanted to get out, Machit checked if there was still anyone left who would attack him and hit in a moment. But at that time, the girl tried to seduce Machit and it turns out the girl attacked him using his knife. Quickly the girl called Torres. It seems Torres had brainwashed her, and not so long after that, the girl was shot by another girl there. Torres then told Machete that all the police, even not only in Mexico, were on his side. Torres asked why Machete didn't take the money and not ruin him. Then it was seen Torres kidnapped Machete's wife too, and he killed her and threatened his daughter too. After that, Torres wanted to kill him, but not using his samurai. He decided to ask his men to burn the residence. Three years later in a day labor site at Texas, there was an immigrant agent who spied on the tacos woman named Blues and the surroundings. Meanwhile, the news was all about the illegal immigrants in the U.S. and how the U.S. wanted to clear them. There was Match 8 there too, and it was his first day of working. Blues then offered to order and pay her the next day since it was his first day. Then the agent noticed Match 8 was new and tried to check if he had a criminal history. Meanwhile, on the U.S.-Mexico border, there was a guy who got out with another guy with a woman who seemed to be his wife in the car. Another guy said that the woman was sick, but he threatened him with a gun. Then, not so long after that, two guys from the U.S. side came. They didn't manage to run away, even a guy killed the woman who turns out to be pregnant. The guy said that he didn't want the baby born in the U.S. and became a U.S. citizen. He seemed to be so blunt in clearing the illegal immigrants or else the U.S. would become Mexico. Then there was a senator too, and he killed the guy earlier. Back to match 8, he was asked to get into the fight, and he would get $500. In the end he joined it, and his opponent punched a metal pole when match 8 avoided his attack, and it made match 8 win. From afar, it was seen that a guy was looking at match 8, then he left. Then the agent earlier came to lose, and she ordered coffee. Then they talked about the immigrant thing, how Luz got the same immigrant identity as the last time. Then the agent saw a poster there about she. She asked about who happened to be a leader of an underground network, but Luz said that she didn't know since she just sells tacos and coffee. After that, Machi was taken by a guy who spied on him earlier somewhere. When he arrived at the place, the guy explained about a senator who would clear all immigrants. It means that Machi would be deported to Mexico, while Machi, along with all immigrants, would be forced to build a gate at the border without payment. Then Machi was asked to kill the senator and the guy would give him $150,000. But Machi said that the guy should find another person who would do that. The guy tried to approach him at first, and in the end he said something would happen to Machi if he didn't take the job, since it was the urgent job that had to be done by the next day. Then, Machi and the guy were in the room where there were many weapons there. Machi picked the knife, but it was lacking technology and not suitable with their plan. After Match 8 left, the guy who ordered him got a call from someone named April. He quickly went somewhere where many men got weapons, and then the guy killed them and took April away from there. It turns out that April is his daughter. The guy told her that if she needed something, she could meet him directly. After that, Match 8 seemed to remember his late wife, and he came to lose, and gave her $150,000 he just got. Match 8 told her to use it for the people that she helped. Then he was already at the top of the building to kill the senator named McLaughlin. It turns out the guy betrayed Machi. His men shot Machi when Machi was about to kill the senator. After that, his men shot the senator but it was on the leg. The guy who ordered Machi quickly pointed at Machi, and the guards were heading to the top of the building to catch Machi. Machi managed to attack them, but then two guys who wore cop uniforms arrested him. It turns out that they were part of the guys who ordered Machi's men, they wore cop uniforms. As soon as he knew it, Machi, who wasn't handcuffed by them, then stabbed one of them and it made the car swerve and explode. Quickly, Machit got out of the car. Luckily, 
Machi was found by someone named John Doe, and he took Machi to the hospital that was owned by the underground network, and they helped Machi who was dying. Meanwhile, it turns out the mastermind of the senator's shooting was Torres. So Torres contacted the guy who ordered Machi, whose name is Booth. Torres noticed that the one who Booth asked to kill McLaughlin was Machi. But Torres didn't tell Booth that he knew Machi. Instead, Torres just told Booth to make sure that Machi was dead. Then Booth's men went to the hospital and wanted to kill Machi. But Machi managed to kill most of them, and finally ran away and Luz met him on the street and took him to her house. But because of it, the media caught him when he was still in the hospital area and made a video about him. The news was known by the agent. Booth's men tried to find Machi. He threatened one of Machi's co-workers and asked about Luz, and he told them her house. Again, Machi killed some Booth's men in Luz's house. Then the only one Booth's men threw a bomb at Luz's house. Luckily, Machi was able to get out of there safely. Not so long after that, the agent came and arrested Machi. It turns out the agent's name is Sartana. Long story short, Sartana took Machit to her residence. She asked Machit who asked him to kill the senator. Machit told her that it had nothing to do with Luz and the underground network, and he did it for money. Before, in Sartana's car, he told her that there was another shooter there, and Sartana already knew Machit's background too. After that, Machit told her that he would go find the one who asked him to do it and took him to her. He then left while giving a gun to Sartana, but Sartana didn't use it to shoot him since she thought he already took out the bullets. Meanwhile, Torres was calling Booth again, and Booth informed him that he failed to kill Machit, and it made Booth kill his men. Then Booth just found out that Machit was an ex-federal and Torres told him that he tried to kill Machit, but it was so difficult indeed to make Machit die. Torres still asked Booth to kill Machit or he himself would go there and kill Machit. Then, Sarkana came to Luz, but Luz was in the middle of showing weapons to her fellow immigrant friends. So the guy who killed a pregnant woman earlier's name is Vaughn, and Luz planned to defend Vaughn. Knowing it, finally Luz revealed to Sartana about the underground network and how Luz helped many people to cross the border and find the job in the US. Luz told her about Vaughn too and how he and the one who funded him ruined the underground network, and there were some people that Luz were about to help but Luz couldn't track them and they were lost. Then Sartana was about to go and she said that she would pretend that she didn't know it. Her aim to go there was to find Machet at the first place. Sartana told Luz to let Machet know that she looked for him. Then, Machet came to a priest, he seemed to know him well. Machet asked him to kill people and it surely sounded impossible since the person he asked repented already and was a priest. But the priest said to Machet that he would see what he could do. In the church, Machet talked about Booth to the priest. The priest knew him since he happened to do a sin confession, and it was mostly about his negative thinking and his worries for his daughter. The priest also knew that Booth had connections with the cartel and he got drug business. The priest didn't even think that the business was known by McLaughlin. The priest also gave Booth's file to Machit. After that, Machit came to Booth's house. He pretended to be a gardener and attacked Booth's men there. Soon, Machit got into Booth's house, but he found Booth's wife and daughter who were naked and recording themselves in a pool. Furthermore, they were interested in Machit and Machit did a recording with them and the two of them kissed Machit. After that, Machit took the recording of Booth as proof and left the recording with Booth's wife and daughter earlier there. Then they, who were still unconscious, were taken to the church. Not so long after that, Booth found out the recording and Osiris informed him that Machit was in the church and Osiris asked him what he should do as the priest. Meanwhile, Vaughn called McLaughlin about the war plan. But McLaughlin, who still heard it, didn't want to talk about it. Maybe because he was in a public hospital at the moment. When their conversations ended, Vaughn questioned Machit, and he ended up planning to find and kill Machit. Machit came to Sartana and gave the files to her. For the recording files in his house, at first it required a password, but Machit ended up guessing the right password. In the files, it found out that Booth cooperated with Torres and Vaughn. So they set up someone from Mexico to try to kill McLaughlin, so it would increase his voting. It turns out Tories is a drug lord and the drug business money who funded McLaughlin's campaign. Torres wanted the senator to win because he wanted to control the border so it benefits his business. It was seen that Vaughn and his men were already in Texas and came to Luz. Vaughn accused the network who asked Machet to kill the senator and Luz didn't deny it. Then Luz's eye got shot and they left. Osiris and his men came to the church with guns. The priest already noticed it and he ended up attacking them. 
His shooting skill is outstanding but unluckily his leg got shot in the end. Not so long after that, Booth came. They then tortured the priest and even nailed him to the cross. Booth asked where Machit, his wife and daughter, but until Booth killed the priest, he didn't reveal it to Booth. Meanwhile, Machit who was in Sartana's residence got attacked. They defended and fought the attackers. After they were done then they went to the church and found the dead priest in the cross. But not so long after that, Sartana found there was CCTV near the cross. Then, Machit went to Booth's house again, he attacked his men to find out where Booth was. Booth was on the video call with Torres. Torres told him that he was in the US already to kill Machit, but Booth stopped Torres since Sartana got his files and the public would easily know the murder if Machit was killed. In press conference, a journalist pushed him by asking the rumor that his advisor, who is Booth, was the mastermind of the shooting accident. Then there was a CCTV recording of Booth who tortured the priest. It turns out when Booth was torturing the priest, he revealed that he planned it to raise the election vote. Furthermore, there was a recording of McLaughlin who shot the guy in the border with Vaughn, and the journalist questioned it to him. The senator then left the conference, and he got into a car with Booth and scolded Booth for his clumsy behavior without confirming it first to him. Then they argued, and the senator ended up shooting him. After that, there was Machid who planned to kill him, but Machid found him being shot anyway. Then Booth revealed the reason why he did it, and he told Machid that Torres was in Texas. Booth, who was dying, asked about his wife and daughter, but Machid said that they were with God. It turns out April and her mother named June were in the church. They were just awake and called Booth, but they were informed that Booth had just died because McLaughlin killed him. Then Machit went to Luz's taco stall. He was informed that Luz had died and Vaughn and the gang who killed her. The guy said that Luz did anything for the network, and from that moment he wanted to help Machit too to fight Vaughn. They ended up preparing everything for the attack. After that, Sartana came there too to find Machit. But the Mexicans there seemed unfriendly, since they knew she was a kind of law woman. Then she stood in her car and made a speech that the law was dead at the time the Mexicans supported her. But unfortunately after that, she was found by Torres. Quickly Machit was informed about it and Machit, along with the network, had to fight Torres and Vaughn soon. Meanwhile, McLaughlin was on the phone with Vaughn. Vaughn felt betrayed because he thought the senator hired Machit to make the shooting incident. Then the senator asked Vaughn to kill Machit. But when the senator just arrived at Vaughn's headquarters, they didn't support the senator anymore even Vaughn said that he was a bad politician, and they felt betrayed and hated him. Then they wanted to do the execution of him inside, while the rest were about to fight Machit and the network. But it turns out the network exploded several times so that Vaughn had to fight them. Not so long after that, the network hospital's ambulance came to help an attack. Surprisingly, Lowe's is still alive, and she attacked Vaughn gang too. Long story short, the network team passed through a room where the senator was about to be executed. Then Luz negotiated with him, and she didn't kill him because he promised to be on their side if they could kill the Vaughn gang, and they released the senator too. The senator then also attacked the Vaughn gang, but he fell in April, who wore a nun uniform in the church came. She shot him right away. Not so long after that, Torres appeared and fought Machet. They had a tough fight with swords while Torres talked about their past, how they used to kill many evil people as Federal, but at the moment Torres himself was the evil people. It was seen Machit was about to lose and lose, said that Torres would kill Machit, but quickly Sartana said that he would be killed because he was Machit. Machit proved it by killing Torres in the end. Then it turns out the senator was still alive. He was just awake then he ran away, but it seemed he was in Mexico and had to pass the border. He got an electric border gate which was his idea and the Von gang shot him. After that there was a scene about Sartana who gave Machit a new identity since she knew he couldn't go back to Mexico either. But he refused it, Sarkna didn't give up and asked him to take her wherever he goes. Then, the movie is over. The movie starts with Machade who fought in the aerospace. Then the scene changed to Sartana, who was Machade's girlfriend at the moment. Sartana and Machade found some US cops who cooperated with cartel. Sartana shot a cop and told them how they thought the cartel wouldn't kill them. Not so long after that, cartel came and killed the cops. One of the cartel gang wanted to kill Machet, but suddenly some people in a helicopter came and attacked the cartel. Sartana and Machet then hid. When Machet asked Sartana to go, Sartana didn't want to since she heard they said court, and she believed they didn't just use M16. She then came back and found a missile. But not so long after that, she was killed by a guy in a mask. 
The guy wanted to kill Machet too, but suddenly the police came and they suspected Machid who killed his girlfriend. Then Machid was interrogated and even sentenced to be hanged. But it turns out Machid was not dead yet and suddenly the US president wanted to meet him. It turns out the president made him free from the punishment and even made him a US citizen. But he asked Machet's help to investigate a Mexican. Since a Mexican named Mendez told him to attack the cartel, if not, he would attack the US building. If it is true, Machit was asked to kill the person. At first Machit refused it but when he was told to at least do it for Sartana, finally he accepted it. Then, Machit met Blanca Vasquez who posed as Miss San Antonio. But she explained all the weapons to Machit. Surely Machit was interested in the knife. But it was not the usual knife because it has a button to activate two more knives. Machit asked about Mendez, so he controlled Los Cortos and he decided to activate the cartel again. He couldn't be traced at the moment but she tracked his worker named Ceriza. When Machit found her, it means that he found Mendez. Then Machit went to a brothel and looked for Ceriza. But the madam of the brothel along with other girls attacked him, but Machit ended up taking Ceriza away from there. They then wanted to cross the border by ship and not so long after that, Mendez's men came and they were taken into a helicopter. Ceriza told Machit not to kill Mendez since he has two personalities. The first personality, he would be nice, and the second one he would kill anyone. Then Cereza was killed by Mendez's men under Mendez's request. Machit then came to Mendez's headquarter. The Machit found out that Mendez couldn't be killed, because if his heart stops, it was said that the missile would go to the US building in Washington. It could be stopped only in the first place it was set, but Mendez killed the doctor there. Then Machit took Mendez but didn't kill him. It turns out Mendez himself activated it, so in 24 hours, there would be a missile headed to Washington. Machit managed to kill Mendez's men then left by helicopter, and Machit attacked Mendez so that he fainted. Machit informed the president and Vasquez, and he asked for help because he didn't understand the way to cross the border. But the president didn't want to help him since many were killed in Mexico. And Vasquez said she would do what she could do to help but she told him not to do stupid things. Suddenly, they were attacked from the ship and quickly Machit attacked them back, and he managed to drive the ship. But they were attacked again, so Machit decided to dive. When they stopped somewhere, it turns out Mendez had changed into a different personality. There was someone who killed a bar staff and people there. It turns out he was Chameleon, the one who is known doesn't have a face. So he wore a mask so that he looked like a different person. When somebody asked him an address, he ended up killing them because they saw his face. Then he heard the news that those who caught Machit would be rewarded $20,000. Meanwhile, it was seen that a guy was tortured by the madam of the brothel earlier. Then a girl came, and she found Machit and Mendez. After that, the madam said she would do the revenge for Cereza. Meanwhile, Machit and Mendez went to a restaurant. Then the people there looked at them since the news had already spread. Then a guy attacked them. It turns out it was Machit's co-worker back then in the Federal, and he found out that Machit got US nationality at the moment. Mendez ended up shooting the guy, he turned to the evil Mendez after that. When Mendez started to ruin Machet again, Machet killed the guy since Machet noticed the guy was about to kill Mendez again. Not so long after that, the Mexican police came and attacked them, but they managed to get out of the place. Meanwhile, Chameleon listened to the latest news about Mendez and Machet, and he wanted to go to the last place they were tracked, and he asked an old man, but he couldn't speak English, and when the man was forced to tell the way he told him inconsistently, so that Chameleon killed him. Soon Chameleon realized that he was recorded on CCTV. He shot the CCTV and changed the mask again to Lady Gaga. Machit went to a hospital because Mendez got hurt. When Mendez was about to be operated on, the brothel girls and the madam were there and attacked them. But again, they ran away from there in a car. In the car, Mendez was back to normal, and he told Machet that he was a secret agent. But he already saw many scary killings and medieval people, so he thought he wanted to resign. But it turned out his former boss was bought by the cartel, and it was taken somewhere where he saw his wife and child were tortured and killed. From that moment, the evil personality Mendez appears. He wanted to be a revolutionist to make the better Mexico. Not so long after that, the car was so lame and couldn't even be used to enter the border so Mendez took him where he could take the car, but it turns out it was a cartel area. They met an old man there and he told them about his gorgeous car he made. Not so long after that, cartel came and attacked.
that Machit found the old man was about to kill him so Machit made the old man come closer to the cartel and was killed. After that they used the car that the old man made and managed to run away. On the way they were followed by the brothel girls and Chameleon. The brothel girls and the madam attacked them but Machit gave a knife bomb at their car and they got out of the car and the car crashed. Meanwhile, when Chameleon wanted to get closer to Machit and Mendez, his car crashed too because he hit the brothel girl's car. Machit and Mendez managed to cross the border after Mendez told him the way. There were two staff and they already knew that they would get $10 million for finding out Machit, and one of them was about to kill Machit, but Mendez managed to kill them. But not so long after that, Mendez's men came but surprisingly stabbed Mendez's head and Machit was also shot by them. Then Machit was seen in a healing pool, and it turns out a guy named Leather Vos helped him and he said that his mission had not failed yet. It turns out the guy was the one who set the machine in Mendez's body and Mendez was still alive, since the guy got his heart which was still beating. Then Vos told Machit about Voztek and how he was obsessed with aerospace and prepared things to go there. Vaz also told him about some weapons there. Machit was interested in a weapon, but then Vaz said the knife one would suit him. Vaz asked him to fight with the Mendez's men who killed Mendez, but it turns out he was just a prototype and Vaz made many who are exactly similar to him. After the fight, Vaz told Machit that he was interested in Machit to make the strongest prototype. Machit didn't want it since there is only one Machit, and then Machit attacked him and ran away but without Mendez's heart. Vaz asked for his prototypes but since they were still under process, it made Machit could fool them. Furthermore, Machit took the weapon that he was interested in earlier and killed them with that. Machit managed to reach the helicopter and run away even though Vaz tried to chase him. Machit then in the network with Luz. Luz talked about the network and there were people who were missing and Luz said the way they were lost was strange. Machit noticed that they were taken to the aerospace and he told about Vaz who was obsessed with aerospace. Machit asked Luz if there was someone in the network who could stop the missile, but Luz mentioned Osiris, former Booth's men who attacked his brother in the past. Machit did harm to him, but Osiris was repentant, and the network anyway. Then Luz noticed that Machit was contacted by Vasquez, and he and Vasquez had an appointment to meet up. Luz even knew that Machit had made out with her and Luz seemed to dislike it, and she along with the network spied on their appointment. But it turns out Vasquez brought his men, and she was on Vaz's side. Machid quickly noticed it when Vasquez mentioned about the missile while Machid hadn't told it to her yet. Soon, they attacked Machid, and the network attacked Vasquez and his men. But it turns out Vasquez kidnapped the member of the network. Machid chased them and killed the driver, but one of Vasquez's men shot him. Vasquez then informed the president by lying that she didn't see Machid, and she said that she hoped that Machid was still alive. Then, Machid was awake somewhere and he stopped a truck. But it turns out he was Chameleon who already changed his face. Oddly he asked Machi to dig his own grave. But when Machi did it, he found an underground to run away and hid there. Machi managed to run away while Chameleon was killed by the ones who guarded the border. Machi came back to the network and they planned to come to Vos to make him stop the missile in an event. It turns out many people were interested in aerospace. But Machi, who posed his staff there along with the network, suddenly revealed and talked about the missile. Vaz then asked the guards and soon the network fought with the guards, Machit and Osiris, wanted to find Mendez's heart first and they found it. But then Vaz came and wanted to kill Machit, with the same weapon Machit killed the prototypes, but it turns out Osiris disappeared because of the weapon. After that Machit went to another room where he found the same mask who killed Sartana. Machit was so mad and he fought with Vaz. They had a tough fight but Machit managed to make his face burn and Vaz used a mask. Meanwhile, in the main room, Vasquez shot Luz's eye, so that she was totally blind. Vasquez still guided the people who wanted to go to aerospace, but Luz came to her, and even attacked her, and managed to make Vasquez's breast bloody. Luz managed to kill Vasquez after that. Then Vos came, and he used another tool to Luz, that made him change to an object. Back to match 8, he tried to stop the missile, but it was already moved, so he rode the missile, but he managed to destroy the cables so it stopped and he fell. The president quickly found him, then the president said that he could make Machit to go to the aerospace to get Vos and Machit accepted it. Then there were some scenes where there would be the next sequel where they would fight in the aerospace. 
After that, the movie is finished.